What's up guys, Ray? Riley here with my next Clash of Clans video. So, I'm just going to do a little update so far. I do have four level 10 cannons done, which is pretty sweet. I like the gold. Next upgrades cost 3.2 million, which that's going to be kind of hard to get. I'm probably going to... Uh, I'm, I'm going to upgrade my air defenses once I've finished upgrading my Teslas, which... Hmm? Which I'm going to upgrade when I'm finished with the Teslas, which I have one upgrading. They take five days for the Teslas, which... To level three, that actually is quite a long time. I have a witches are going to be done in one day, which is pretty nice. I'm going to try some level two witches stuff. My attack log's been pretty going pretty sweet. My last four attacks been th all three stars, but then kind of just two stars. And uh, those are just I was dropping trophies. So first, I'm going to go through this one. I got some pretty some way good loot for the base, which was pretty bad. Place some troops to lure out those clan castle troops first. Which, if there's archers or wizards in there, they're going to really mess up the max balloons. So I just deal with those. And I go up here. He had some giant bombs, but those were... He had tons of giant bombs up here and Teslas. But they were just a big waste. It didn't do anything. So first I'm going to be going in for the um, air defenses. There we go. To take those out. And then there was just one thrown out. And then that one right there. Which that one is there. Both all of the air defenses were pretty much just thrown away. And I was able to pull off the three star pretty way easily. So those are done. I start. I should have placed like a minion there, cause that bomb did take a ton of health out of all my balloons. But then I just placed the balloon. So while they're going that way, I'm gonna just quickly take out this air defense, cause with the balloon strategy, the worst, like all the time. The worst thing is running out of time, which I've done a lot. Because all the defenses are out. And then all that's left is just the balloons, maybe. Like, I always save my Barb King and Archer Queen and my Clan Castle troops for cleanup. Which, there goes my Clan Castle troops. I had some archers and then some hog riders. And then... I didn't have my Barb King or Archer Queen this raid, but it didn't really matter because my clan castle and everything was able to destroy the rest of the base really easily. And there we go, the three star. Lots of elixir and gold, which I like. I don't really care about trophies though. This one I got not as good as the other one, but I still happened to get a lot, which so first again taking out the air defenses. They had no clan castle troops, which was pretty nice, but it didn't really affect this raid if there was. So now that that one's gone, I t I'm gonna take out this bottom right one which this one did take a while because I didn't have any wall breakers because I wasted them all up there and there goes that one and now I'm just going to take out this last air defense and then all my balloons are coming in from the bottom They're just taking out those upgrading archer towers, which if you have stuff upgrading like an archer tower near the center of your base, just switch it out because there's 
you're using that protected area you're just setting up your base and they're just upgrading so there's no point in having it there it's like placing a barrack there or something like that so there's no point in having it there so you can just switch it out and move some defenses inward and it doesn't hurt your defensive defense so there goes those balloons which are crazy strong like insane they take out storages way easy like watch this one Gone. Which I like the balloons a lot, but you have to have a a big chunk of them to make them to be really effective. Which now they just clean up the rest of the ba base. So this is the next one. I got 250k gold, which was really sweet, which I liked a lot. Most of them were in the golden elixir collectors. And the air defenses were thrown away on the outside like the other bases, which makes them really easy to for the balloon strategy. And since I'm farming a little bit lower than I usually am, they just throw them away because no one really uses those balloons and minions and that at this level. But then I can come and these bases are just thrown away with the air defenses. I can get a three star. So I did have some trouble on the top right. Like all my balloons were taken out. But then I had like four or five of them up here which were able to take out most of the defenses but watch this last balloon I thought he was going to get taken out like look at its health literally like one more shot from that wizard tower would have killed it it was insane and they just go around and clean up the rest of the base for another 3 star Checking to see if anyone needs donations. And this is my last one. I did use three lightning spells to take out this inner air defense. Which I probably could have gotten to, but there were tons of tons of buildings that I have to go through. They did have clan castle troops which killed off my giants. I used that third lightning spell to finish taking it off, which I should have lured the clan castle troops above that air defense, then I could have just lightning strike them all. I'm quickly going to take out all these, finish that last air defense, and then here comes the balloons. I think they come in the yeah, they come in the bottom right. So I placed those minions there to check for any dark elixir or air sinking mines or all those they do affect the balloons a little bit and then the wizard towers can take out tons of the balloons if they group up but luckily they like kept spreading out and then all that left were the cannons which they can't they can't defend against balloons and then I just place all my extra archers and barbs on the other side so the cannons couldn't take any of them out and then look at this town hall Ta -da -da -da. it's insane the balloons power but they get taken out pretty easily from archer towers and then there goes the three star wait nope the, the builder's hut yeah I got about 200k which from that was pretty good I have a defensive replay I want to show this was a revenged attack on me
He does lightning strike my dark elixir. There he goes. He's taking so long to decide on what he's gonna do. I did have clan castle troops in here, which like right when he hit the clan castle troops, like he just got destroyed from there. I don't know if he was going for elixir, cause my elixir's kind of thrown out there because I don't need it anymore, cause I can't upgrade anything until I upgrade my town hall to level 10 and then upgrade my laboratory. So my two clan castle archers. With level 10 cannons. Look at them. Look at that giant get taken out. And then I have some level 5 wizards in there. Which they just take out those giants like none other. Just killing off that archer queen. Yeah, he can wait till that comes back. He got 154k elixir, which is quite a ton, but since I have nothing to spend it on, except I could upgrade this to level 5, which if I do get enough, like 1 million more elixir, I will spend it on one of those. I want to save up to upgrade my hog riders for 20k, and I'm upgrading those, my witches. I could upgrade the golems. It's just that I don't really use them because with the archer bar strategy that I'm using, I don't really need it. a meat shield. Because so I just take out the air defenses and then, then the balloons are able to destroy the rest of the base. Well, that's pretty much all. In 22 hours that can will be finished. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish all the Teslas up and then once they do finish up I think I'm gonna upgrade my air defense because level 4 is actually quite low for the level I'm at and so that's probably what I'm gonna upgrade next well see you guys